Hello, and welcome to FPS Coach. My name's Ron Rambo Kim, and in this video, I'm gonna break down the mouse grip of Android, a professional Valorant player for the Anbox organization. Android and I were actually on the same team for one whole year competing for Complexity CSGO division and living and training full-time in Dallas, Texas. Naturally, as his coach, I became very familiar with both his gameplay and mouse control. His play style and aim have always been crispy and very efficient. There's really no wasted motion when he's aiming, and his first bullet accuracy is top notch. As we watch Android's clips, notice how there's never any jitteriness or shakiness. The crosshair is always under control. I'll go ahead and play a few more of his clips, and then show you what I believe is the secret to his mouse grip and how it can help you. The first thing to mention when Android grips his mouse is that he always starts by locking his pinky finger straight and then overlapping his ring finger on top of the pinky finger. Sometimes it took him several tries to get the feeling just right by resetting and doing it all over again. Simultaneously, as he waggles his ring and pinky finger into place, his thumb is applying the opposing pressure from the other side of the mouse. As we can see from this image, his pinky is locked straight and the entire right side of his hand is in a straight line on the mouse pad. The advantage of a straight finger is that it's easily repeatable as he doesn't have to worry about messing with any curling of the pinky. Another advantage of the straight pinky is that it provides the most amount of surface contact. There are minimal gaps as his pinky rides down the entire right side, providing more support and a feeling of his pinky perfectly parallel with the side of the mouse. After the pinky is established, the second key is to overlap the ring finger completely over the nail of the pinky finger. Notice that the tip of the ring and pinky finger are lightly touching the mouse pad, as this is also another repeatable position and provides feedback when aiming the mouse. Depending on your hand size and mouse shape, replicating these side finger positions will vary in difficulty. It may feel natural for some and awkward for others. For me, I feel comfortable and in control when the mouse is locked into place with no possibility of the mouse slipping in my hand. After the side fingers are positioned in place, we need to place the pointer and middle finger onto the mouse. The important step here is to feel like the pointer finger is pointing away from the pinky. Or in other words, the pointer finger is stretching away from the mouse wheel. This is another repeatable position because the finger can only stretch so much, and if there was no stretch, the pointer finger can be placed anywhere on the mouse one. Now, when I mean stretch, I mean start by feeling the stretch and then let the finger recoil back to a healthy position. If you continue to maintain the stretch, you will feel stress and discomfort in your hand. So please be careful to not overstretch the pointer finger. Simultaneously, while placing the pointer finger on mouse one, you should be waggling your middle finger onto mouse two. When the grip is complete, every finger except the thumb should be straight, with the feeling as if you're trying to grip as much of the surface of the mouse as possible. As for the thumb, Android prefers a slight bend, while for me, I like my thumb straight and flat against the side. Hopefully, this video was helpful in some way. The point of this video is I wanted to break down the intricacies of a grip and some of the feelings that make it work and repeatable. If you want me to break down another pro player's grip, let me know in the comments who. If you're interested in Android's mouse and settings, it's in the description box. I'll go ahead and finish the video with more of his clips. And if you're looking to improve your aim in FPS games, check out my full video course at www.fpscoach.com.
One has hop, one rifle. One enemy remaining. Two bullets. 